Hi, Les Hall again with my fifth YouTube video. We're going to be covering my third invention that I wish to reveal to the world and give away for free. It's already been posted on the web and shared with people a long time ago, several years ago. But I thought I would mention it again here on this channel. It is a guitar pickup invention, and I've thought of a new innovation for it that might make it even a little more practical than it was in the past. The concept is, uh, well, it dates back to 1935. That's the first patent that I was able to find on it. Uh, uh, picture of a violin on the patent and mentioned that it's applicable to any stringed instrument. Uh, let me tell you how it works, the fundamental principle. You put magnets under the strings, and the strings vibrate over the in the magnetic field, and according to Faraday's law, it produces a teeny little current in each of the strings. And that current fluctuates in intensity in direct proportion to the vibration of the strings. So that current has got the vibration down pat. It's really accurate. So what do we do? We pick up that current, we amplify it, and we send it out the jack to the uh, amplifier. Now, uh, there's some tricks involved with that, some details, some specifics. Uh, the original concept was not used because they didn't have strong magnets back then, and they had no way to amplify the signal. We have those things today. Um, uh, my buddy and I, uh, the, my buddy's name is Dr. Justice on the internet. He's also involved with electro-music.com, electromusic.com with a dash in the middle. Um, and we came up with it together, so he's got a 50% interest in it, and I haven't spoken to him, but I give my half, half of it to the world for free, as well as the full amount of ownership I might have in the refinement that I'm tell you about at the end of the video. Uh, okay. Now, some of the details. The bridge is grounded. The bridge is a place where the strings terminate at the base of the guitar, near where the jack is. It's connected to ground, and all the strings are shorted together there, uh, electrically and mechanically. Many of the patents over the years, there's been a different patent every 20 years, something like that, since 1935. Um, talk about an insulated bridge so, so that the electric currents can be picked up and uh, delivered to the amplifier. This is impractical. So the, the only thing that we ended up innovating really significantly was that our for a variety of it, works with an with, with with a grounded bridge, and the way it works is you put the magnets under the place somewhere in the region where the strumming is occurring. You know the the body of the guitar under the strings, uh, neodymium super magnets, little bitty nine by nine millimeter squares, and. At the top, in the in the the end of the guitar, the other end of the guitar, where you have the uh, tuning pegs, you short the tuning pegs together with a little strip of metal, and you connect that to the truss rod, and you send the, the electricity returning back the current sum together, and return back through the truss rod, where they encounter the input of an amplifier. And the amplifier is connected to the return wire as well as to the ground of the bridge, senses the difference, and uh, amplifies the signal, and out it goes. Uh, the prototype that I built used a transformer, a microphone transformer in reverse, very special with a mu metal case, uh, but really a solid state op amp circuit or transistor circuit would be better. Now, some things about it. I did build a guitar like this, I played some samples. Guitarists, especially rock and roll guitarists, didn't like the sound. 
It was pure. It was harp-like. It was clean. And they liked their dirty pickups, which is no problem with that. Uh, a circuitry can be added to simulate the pickups or make the pickups be adjustable, tunable, changeable. So then you can have any guitar sound coming out, maybe, something like that. Uh, also, when you run the clean sound through uh, pedals, such as a distortion pedal, a fuzz pedal, this pedal, that pedal, funky weird pedals that they have, uh, it does very well. It has really nice sound to it. Now, I, I tried running it through some software distortion, uh, wah, and things like that but way back then, and it sounded pretty good. Um, then I talked to uh, a musician who was performing at a nursing home where I recently stayed. And I asked him if he'd ever heard of it, and he said yes. And I said, and he shook his head, no, he shook his head, and I said, why? And he said, well, it's kind of like putting a temperature sensor or a pressure sensor in a tire. It's a rugged thing. It's, it's, you're complicating the system. It's uh, not appropriate to run a return wire, and you've got to have a battery on it and all this jazz. Uh, it's it, it's too much. It, it's it's the, the mechanisms are in places where they could. It's not good. So uh, thinking about it, I took his advice, and in the past few months since then, I came up with uh, a, a, another modification. You unplug the jack. No, no wires. This will be radio transmission, and. On a on a um, Fender Strat, the lower three strings are connected together with these little bitty post things. They're electrically connected together at the top. They're all three, all six connected together at the uh, bottom, and then the up the other three strings are all connected together with little posts. So on the most modifiable guitar in the world that you would want to, you know, you would want to try on this, basically you have a U-shape electrically. You have three strings going down, returning on the three strings coming up. So why not put some kind of circuitry between those two nodes at the top? You know, you connect to the two, three top tuning pegs and the three bottom tuning pegs, put a little circuit in the middle. That circuit can be, I haven't designed it, I just imagined it, can be uh, uh, a, a, an oscillator that's modulated by the current it receives from the strings. And it can be tuned. The strings have a certain inductance in addition to their resistance. And when you're getting into FM frequencies, that inductance becomes resonant with a small capacitor. So uh, it would be quite reasonable for someone with electronics knowledge to come up with, uh, maybe I'll do it, I don't know, to come up with a uh, oscillator circuit that either has a separate antenna or uses the strings as an antenna and sits there and resonates itself off of the tiny currents that flow at the low frequencies producing stronger currents that transmit at a much higher frequency changing frequency from audio modulated up to FM or something like that uh, then all your tricky, complicated stuff is you, you're not modifying, you got no, no wire running, no, no, nothing with the truss rod, no anything except a little bitty module with a little bitty battery and maybe a solar cell to keep the battery charged so you never have to mess with it. I think it's cheap, could be a one, two, three transistor deal or an op-amp deal. And you, the thing runs out of juice, the battery dies. You replace it. It's that cheap. It's that simple. Um, 
you only have to change the battery. So, interesting possibility for guitar innovation. I'll tell you how to find what I did, the work I did, so you can build upon it. Uh, in this web page, I mentioned if you build it, send me 10 bucks. That was back when I was thinking about collecting money for this. I uh, stupid idea. Nobody ever did. But uh, for, ignore that. Don't send me 10 bucks. Uh, 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 you can find the web page by going to Google and typing in O Y T Guitar Invention. Stands for Own Your Tone, which is what me and my buddy, uh, Dr. Justice, were going to call the invention a few years ago when we were toying around with this. Um, so go there. It'll take you to an electromusic.com post that I made some time ago, and it has a link in it, and that link takes you to the web page that another buddy, W. Monk, who also is a member of Electro dashmusic.com uh, has been keeping alive on his server for years now. Thank you, W. Monk. Very nice of you. Um, I don't know if other people are making this thing. Other people have made other improvements, whatever. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it, except that whatever I did, I give to the world. And um, it'd be real good for if you want that clean sound or you want to take the clean sound and dirty it up in some kind of interesting way. Could lead to some different sounding guitars that you'll, you'd really enjoy. And the cost is very low. I recommend you get the magnets from Gauss Boys. www.gaussboys.com Gauss is spelled G-A-U-S-S B-O-Y-S uh, Funny store all kind of crazy super magnets at super low prices all you have to do is buy six 9 by 9 millimeter flat chrome plated uh, uh, neodymium magnets which will cost you a dollar plus shipping they're like 15 cents each and then you build a little amplifier which won't cost much I mean for for 10 bucks, you can send me, you're cooking with Crisco. So that's today's invention. And uh, uh, it's, it, it's, it's a fun one. It's, it's got a lot of potential, and it could make nice music and make the world a little bit of a better place. Less out, praise the Lord. <laughs>